Immunology underpins many, many scientific careers. But not only careers in research and academia, but also careers in pharmaceutical industries and many other science-related disciplines. I'm a clinical immunologist. I work at Bard's Health NHS Trust in London. And uh, I went through core medical training, general medicine, and then I decided to do immunology as a career. Uh, because it's exciting, it, it, it's an exciting basic science that applies in every aspect of medicine from gastroenterology, if you like, to cardiology or in rheumatology or hematology, the most obvious. I am a content developer at the Science Museum, which means I do research for exhibitions and events about scientific topics. I did a PhD in immunology at Imperial College and I studied uh, the immunopathology of flu and after that I went and did a postdoc at Stanford University in California. I'm in the infection and immunobiology team um, in the science division at Wellcome and I'm a senior portfolio developer. My immunology background started um, in my PhD. I worked on T-cell development. Um, I then moved to Canada where I continued working on T-cell development using in vitro models and looking specifically at notch signaling and then I came back and worked a little more on immunotherapy um, for a final postdoc before I joined Wellcome. I work for a company called Miltani Biotech. My role involves key count management across the north of England. So I cover various institutes, universities, biotechs, and uh, that can include trainings and seminars as well. My job involves working with entrepreneurs and innovators to work and translate the immunological discoveries that the scientists in their labs are working on into potentially clinic-ready opportunities for, for future therapies. I'm a senior lecturer working at Imperial College London. It's a fascinating discipline. It has such a range of different applications from very pure uh, basic research up to translation research of developing new vaccines, new cancer immunotherapies, treatments for asthma and allergy. So it's, there's a whole range of things of which you can be part of this kind of great collective effort. The British Society of Immunology are very proactive in helping people's careers. We have a dedicated career section on the, the website and we are also undertaking a project to map the careers of immunology. So where do immunologists go after they've studied uh, immunology, either at university or, or at postgraduate study? There are many theme areas within immunology that are very exciting at the moment. Uh, neuroimmunology, I think, is particularly interesting. We know that there's a connection between the brain and the immune system. The way in which we are understanding the fundamental immunology that goes behind making a vaccine is going to be increasingly important now that we've got these hard to crack infections. The understanding of the microbiome, all these bacteria that live on us and within us is a very exciting growth area in a way that um, we never would have anticipated even 10 years ago. Immunology spans it all and this is where if you've got a, an immunology background and understanding you can apply that to many different diseases if not all disease. I think it's very important to study immunology. I think there's still so much that we don't know about the immune system that we're just starting to unpick that um, will really help us in the future just uh, prolong life and improve quality of life and what could be more important than that.